far, far out in the deep blue sea lives a magical being, a sea sprite whose dance brings life to the ocean. When wind blows in a certain way near the shore, she calls deep and low until a great skirt of seaweed wraps itself around her waist. The sea sprite begins to twirl and as she does so, she grows and her skirts grow with her. She grows and she grows until she is as large as a hundred whales. For there is a rich soup on the ocean floor that holds the seeds of life. And as the sea sprite dances, her great skirts stir up the ocean until that cold water with its precious soup rises from the depths up, up to the surface. There, the soup becomes food for tiny creatures, algae and krill. Powered by the sun, they bloom and grow, becoming food for little fish who feed bigger fish, who feed still bigger fish, who bring great predators. And this is how it has been since the time before time. Until now, slowly, gradually, the ocean has been changing. In some places, the ocean has become so warm that the sea sprite can't dance at all. The warmth makes her too sleepy. And so that rich soup lies forgotten down in the dark, cold depths. Great ocean deserts have formed in those places. Expanses of water where nothing grows, nothing moves, nothing lives. But there are beings working to heal this. The same beings who caused the warming. Human beings have built great hanging kelp gardens in these ocean deserts. The kelp grows fast on special frames and little machines scoop the cold water and the soup up to the surface, restarting the cycle of life and cooling the water. Soon the kelp garden becomes a safe haven for fish to feed and flourish. Bigger and bigger fish appear until predators arrive. With enough kelp gardens we can cool the ocean and then the sea sprite will be able to dance just as wildly as she loves to in every part of the ocean where she is needed. Will you be a part of the Sea Sprite story?